At the Linux Academy, we're passionate about teaching hands-on topics, and one way to do that is through our unique server labs that we offer. These server labs can be used with some of our courses so that you can follow along and practice what you're learning instead of simply watching the instructor do it, because at the end of the day, you need experience working in real-world environments. So from the Server Lab Control Center, you have the option to choose any distribution you want from this list. For example, we have Puppet Enterprise 2016, Chef Enterprise Server, CentOS 7, and many other options. Once you choose a distribution, you can go to Server Actions and create the server. This will change the status as well as the public IP and private IP while we launch the server. Once it's done, you'll receive the information and you'll be able to grab this information and log into the server itself using the default server user, default server pass, and default root password. Once you log into the instance, you'll be asked to change the password so that you can have your own private password and this will be your own private server. From there, you can follow along and practice what you're learning in the lessons at no extra cost because otherwise, if you launch these servers on a cloud provider, you would be charged depending on how long you use the service for. But instead, we include this cost in your membership so you can safely play around and learn without worrying about cost. Now that this server is running, I can also reset the password, stop the server, delete the server, or even mount multiple devices. And the instructor of the course should tell you more about how to use these features throughout the lessons themselves. Now, if you have any questions about how to use server labs, please do not hesitate to ask in the community or privately via our support ticket system, and we'll be glad to help you. Otherwise, have fun.